January 20, 1981. Iran releases 52 Americans taken hostage at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran after 444 days in captivity. It happened just minutes after Ronald Reagan is sworn in as president, succeeding Jimmy Carter in the White House. 1961. In Washington, John F. Kennedy becomes America's 35th president, challenging the country in his inaugural address. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. 1942. During World War II, officials in Nazi Germany hold the notorious Wannsee Conference near Berlin. That's where they devise what they call the Final Solution, their plan to exterminate Europe's millions of Jews. 1936. Start of a turbulent year for Britain's monarchy as Britain's King George V dies. George's son becomes King Edward VIII, but he later gives up the throne to marry an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. By the end of the year, Edward's brother becomes King George VI, father of the future Queen Elizabeth II. And in 1896... Well, Gracie, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Comedian George Burns, straight man to wife Gracie on radio, who later played God on the big screen, is born in New York City. Today in history, January 20th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.